The wrinkles out a little bit. <laughs> so tell me how you like it. So uh, typically on the sides, I do like a two and a half, two, two and a half, um, two, 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 two and a half. Yeah. So it's a little bit longer. Actually, yeah. there is no such a number two and a half. Yeah, so no, there's two and a metal guard. Okay. Two, three and a half, and three and three quarters. Uh -huh. And a plastic guard when they do the attachable blade then they can adjust the half. If you want, you want to have a little bit longer for the winter yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. What I can do for you, I can start with a three, three and a half, okay. and then blend it into a two. Okay. So you're going to have nice fade. And for the winter, you're not going to see skin as much you see with the two. Right. Because when you do a two, then you do a one, one and a half on the bottom. That's, you know, some, then some customers don't like it. They say only two, I want to leave it natural on the bottom. Okay. Well, guys, you heard the man. Uh, he's changing a little bit of style. So we are going to go with three and a half. And I also want to show you that he has a cowlick. Can you please show this? Like I say in my previous video, guys, I always, when the customer sits down, I try to say hello to the customer and hello to the hair as well. And also now we're going to use individual comb which we do for every customer in NYC Barbershop Museum. And our sponsor today is, is Ria Mirren Co. It's a barbershop since 1999 in New York City. The company been around since 1947. So thank you for your trust. Thank you. This is your to go. Perfect. And the top we go. Just, we just cut just a little, tiny bit. Tiny bit? Yeah. You like to thin it a little bit? To take the, the, the volume out? Yeah. To puff it? Yeah. And I see you like tapered back, right? Now it's straight back. Yeah, exactly. So good, good, good choice. Yeah, I typically style it with a command, but I just didn't do it. Well, a lot of customers, you know, they ask a question when especially in the bag when people have goes different directions mm -hmm. some people like to do a straight line and some barbers force them to do a straight line and then after a week just because you have colleagues mm -hmm. when it grows no matter how even line is it would not be even but when you do a tapered bag it grows in naturally and people people cannot tell that it's a straight or crooked line but when it's crooked, you can tell it's crooked. So it's a three and a half. Again, some haircuts, I start from the side. It's all on a person's preference. So we're gonna start from this side now. Again, I'm not gonna go too high up. And look the way I position my buzzer. I don't go in, I go up. Again you go up and then it's easier to blend the line when that when you do this so you leave the line not that no, noticeable you go up it's all about your hand movement as well and again I will remind for those of you that starting barbering be gentle to the customer try to feel his skin try not to press try not to put the hand on top of his head it's not a shelf. Again, if it's a kid that's moving around and you want to stop him, it's a different story. But when it's an adult, let him relax. And also, always, when you see a straight hair, straight hair, when you buzz it, you have to go against the grain. With the grain, it's just not going to cut anything. So the trick is, when the hair grows in different direction, like here, it goes this way. If you cut it like this, it will not cut anything. That's why you gotta go against the grain. The way it grows, you gotta go against it. It's much cleaner, and you cut all the hair out. Now, after this, we take one and a half. Uh, 
on the angle, guys. So you don't make a hole. Around the ears again. Left. Right. Chris. Cross. Same thing here, the hair goes up, you go against the grain, so it's a nice smooth transition. You see my positioning guys, where I cut, that's where my body is. Now blending. Some barbers are afraid if they're gonna mess up, they go with either one and a half to blend or with one and a quarter. You know, after a while, when you're experienced, I do put number one. And again, I go with the small comb. For some of you that are afraid to use the small comb, you can use a bigger comb. And they call them flat, uh, flat top cones, just to be on the safe side. I don't blame you guys, you can use that. So this is basically a freestyle and of course we're gonna blend it after I blend this way I'm gonna go over with three and three quarters which I will explain again in a minute to take the line out and guys stay tuned for educational videos for consumers for the customers some of you know that barbers do transmit diseases and that topic is not being brought up by anybody and I would like to be the first one to bring the topic of transmitting diseases in the nail salons and barbershops. And I will teach you what to look for in a barbershop. Some barbers will hate me for this, some barbers will love me for this. Because I give a big respect to those barbers that are sanitary clean. And we will mention them down the line. And we will bring out those barbershops that need help that need the cleanup. For those business owners that have barbershops, God bless you and if you don't mind, a small advice from a business owner to a business owner. If your business giving you an income, put back 10% of what you're making if you want to be successful for a long, long time. So now we're going to go with three and three quarters over this, as you can see, a small shadow of a line. We're going to take that line out. Again, positioning your hand and the way you go up. Don't go deep, go up. As you see, I did not go too high up, just because of the colic, so it doesn't stick up. And then the rest, we're gonna trim it with scissors. I don't wanna touch that part with the buzzer, it's dangerous. As you can see, he has a natural, no part. He just pushes his hair naturally. I like it. I like it. It's, <laughs> it's different. And the way it grows, it makes it nice. Detail, guys, detail. It's the most important thing. And I try always to blow out their loose hair so the customer always clean, you know, doesn't itch. 
especially before you put the water on. If you put the water on this hair that has been dry, it becomes you know, wet and sticks into the customer's ears, into the customer's neck. So try it for him to be clean. I feel like we're gonna give uh, advice again in this video as well about preventing of a hair loss for young guys is main key is the stress, we all know that. Vitamins, especially winter time guys, try to take B complex, biotin, and please wear a hat winter time. It's healthy to cover your follicles and your roots so it doesn't get cold. Summertime, don't wear a hat, guys. A lot of guys asking why I love to wear a hat, baseball cap. Well, let's put it this way. What would happen if you put a plywood over a grass for three days? It will dry out, right? Not enough sun. That's what happens with our hair. We kill our roots and follicles just because we wear a lot baseball caps, not summertime. I mean, one hour, two hours a day, it's okay, but some guys, they wear it, they sleep in it. Yeah. No good. I wear a hat during the summertime a lot, too. No good. Sun. No good. Cover your face. Again, a couple hours a day, no problem. Yeah. But again, some guys, they wear it too long. Mm -hmm. And then, also, do a scalp massage, three to five minutes before you go to sleep. It helps blood circulation, and it's healthy. With the tip of your fingers, not with your nails, because when you do it with your nails, you also scratch your skin, it's, it damages your skin. Skin is the biggest organ on the human's body. So guys, this is basically the same routine that we're going over the top, over the fingers, quarter of an inch, just to trim the ends, not too much. The front also, we're just gonna do the ends, so it grows even. And it's healthy for the hair to cut the dead ends off. And I will say it in this video, and I will demonstrate again after I use the technique cutting with the, over the fingers. I always do this technique, which is a freestyle. What it does is it's layering. When you're going against the grain, you, you will see the hair comes out like freezy. You see that? I'm sure you guys see what I'm talking about. So you just go just the ends, freshen up the ends and it's texturing at the same time. We might not gonna use too much thinning screws on you. We're gonna blend more after I dry it. Always try to check after the hair is dry. You will see all the mistakes. When the hair is wet, you can hide your mistakes. Well, some of you don't know, my close people do know. Sometimes when I give a haircut, I meditate. Yeah, some customers don't like to talk. Sometimes, you know, they fell asleep. And I just, in my zone, I meditate. Yeah? That's crazy. How often do you get sleepers? A day, three, four. Like more elderly people, yeah. yeah, they just come in. I already know what they like, the usual, yes, and they just go to sleep. Wake me up when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> So now I'm thinning just this part a little bit where the wave is because it's a little bit thicker here. And I'm not going to go against the grain, I'm going to go with the grain to make it texture. That's it. Yeah, I always say you live, you learn. Every day you learn something. 
Well, I'm not gonna talk about the religious now or who created, I'm not talking about the God now, but why do we live in 24 hour zone? Eight hours for us to sleep. We all know that the most healthiest sleep. Eight hours for us to work. And the rest of the rest, uh, eight hours, is for educate yourself and help others. Wow, that's it. I like that. Yeah, for new barbers out there, guys, be mindful that this is a sharp object, especially the outliner. Please, guys, be gentle to the customer. Practice and mannequins. Practice your pressure of your hand. It's important, guys. Yes, it's important to give a beautiful haircut, but when you build a house, you gotta build the foundation first. And that's the foundation. Now, guys, this is two ways that we can do a tapered back now. It's either I can make a small line and then blend it, or I can go from bottom up, freehand it, and then finish it off with the one half and a zero. So for him, we're going to make a small line, and then we're going to take the line out. First, I'm gonna do with the open wall. Watch the hand. Don't go too deep and high. Just the bottom and the, with the tip of the blade, not with the whole thing. It's, it's gonna be done just with the tip. For that advice, I would like to thank Cortez because before I used to mess up, I used to go with the whole blade. He told me why you do that. You do it with the corner, just with the tip of it. And it's a much smoother and a safer blend. Thank you, Cortez. Again, we're gonna check his neck when I open the cape. I always tell you this, guys, because when you have the cape on, the skin gets, you know, tighter. When you open it, the skin loosens up, and then you have to check again. Yeah, we have to blend it a little bit more. Andy's, thank you guys for making the outliner uh, and the batteries because those cords are very distractive sometimes. And we'd like to thank Wall as well. I always say those are the three leading brands in the barber industry is uh, Oster, Wall and Andy's. Thank you guys for making our lives easy. Because where we came from, from former Soviet Union, back in the days, they never had tools like this. But the Americans already had those, those tools. We didn't. When my father saw those tools, when we came to this country in 1989, mm -hmm. he was like, oh my God, <laughs> this is lifesaver. Yeah, because they used to make the lines all with a straight edge. Now it's easier with the outliner. Mm. What about the neck? Um, Do you shave it or no? No. <clears throat> this is something for the professional that will see and know what I'm doing. Because after you did 
the outline on his head and if the customer asks him to do line up on a beer, please disinfect the tool guys. Nice beard oil on him now, for his beard. Welcome to the Nirvana. Yeah. Welcome back to Nirvana. Yeah. That was another world. Do you use any products or no? Yeah, I use uh, like a homemade. Homemade. How do you pronounce it? Homemade. Homemade. Again, I would put some living conditioner, especially in winter time, you should use. Ramir and Co. are sponsors, all made. For those of you that say, what's the difference between your product and other products, guys? Time and experience, knowledge and love. That's why we're different and that's why we're better. Seven days, and then, oh, why is it your line is not that straight? 